Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Midland High Gymnasium for MCTV's coverage of the Midland Dow Varsity Volleyball Action. I'm Jake Rietma, joined alongside Dave Marsh, and we are excited to bring you MCTV's coverage of tonight's game. And tonight, Dave, there's more on the line than just your typical bragging rights with this rivalry, huh? Oh, Jake, absolutely. The uh Anytime, as you know, anytime Midland Dow uh, match up, there's uh, electricity in the air. Uh, tonight, a little added to that in that the winner of this match tonight will be hanging a Saginaw Valley League Championship banner in their gym. Midland, Midland High Dow and Bay City Western all sit atop the Saginaw Valley League standings at five and one. Bay City Western tonight plays Bay City Central and uh, so the winner of this match will either be champs on their own or at worst case be uh, tied with Bay City Western uh, for the Saginaw Valley League champs. And so just a little <laughs> added uh, excitement in the gym here tonight. Absolutely, certainly more on the line than just bragging rights between these two crosstown rivalries. And Dave, what can you tell us about these two teams? Who are some players that both of them look for? Well, for Dow High, Dow comes into the match tonight uh, with a record of 33-12-2. I think you're going to be able to look for um, their, their main attacker, Helena Atten, leads the team with 278 kills, 39% hitting percentage, also leads the team with 109 blocks. And uh, so she's kind of been their primary uh, hitter, although this is a balanced team. Besides Atten, Alyssa Stone comes in with... 204 kills, and they have three other players with over 100 kills on the season. That's uh, Maddie Cook with 181, Jenna Query 143, and Mor Morgan Zoller with 112. And so uh, a balanced attack here by the Chargers, so the Chemics have a lot of players that they're going to have to uh, to contend with. Kylie Jude is the setter, leads the team with uh, 861 assists on the year. Defensively, Kaylee Talt, 527 digs, and Amanda Olenzik with 271 digs, uh, key defensive players for the Chargers. And uh, meanwhile, Midland High checks in with an overall record of 29-19-4. And, and Erica uh, Reeder is... Uh, is their setter, 200, 2,720 sets. And uh, we'll talk about a little more the the chemic leaders in a little bit, but right now, Jake, let's send it down to the, uh, the main floor for our uh, anthem and introductions. And 
Corey Jude. Congratulations, ladies, on your success at South High Charger. And now, let's meet tonight's rosters for our varsity contest, starting with the Chargers from now high. Number one, Amanda Olinson. Back here in Midland High's gymnasium, Jake Ritma joined by Dave Marsh. And Dave, you can feel the electricity in the building after the starting lineups just being announced there. Oh yeah, a lot of enthusiasm. It's great to see both schools having a strong student conten contingent at opposite ends of the gym. And uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna hear a lot of noise here in the gym tonight for As sure. is the case with, it seems like, any Midland Dow event, but uh, especially with both teams sitting high atop the Saginaw Valley League. Absolutely. and. Uh, Right before we get started, just talk about some of the leaders of that Dow team. Uh, Midland, uh, you can look for number 13, Taylor Jensen, leads the Chemex with 296 kills and 247 digs. Number four, Mariah Sherman, uh, right behind with 277 kills. And uh, so uh, you can keep your eye out on, the, on those two. Uh, to be attacking uh, consistently here tonight. You can take a look at Midland High coach Tim Zero, who uh, earlier this year won his 500th career match as a head coach. Certainly an impressive feat, and we are set to begin here. Midland High will the serve. Atten goes up for the spike, and it's blocked nicely there by Midland, who will return the spike, and Midland gets the first point of the game with a kill by number 13, Taylor Jensen. Yeah, you can see it went to Jensen early there, and uh, she made no mistake putting that away. Midland already fired up with the first point of the game. Serving for Midland High is Michelle Plaver. And there's another point for the Chemex. They take the early 2-0 lead, and continuing to serve will be Michelle Plaver. Atten with the kill, and she's able to put it in the back corner for the Chargers' first point of the night. So both team leaders, Atten and Jensen, uh, making their mark here early on. Midland on top, two to one. Now serving for the Chargers will be Kylie Jude. Sends it to the back row. Midland receives it there. 
hit into the net by Midland and Dow will take the point to tie the game up. Jensen unable to get her spike attempt over the net that time. O'Ryan goes for the kill, but she knocks it out of bounds. That'll be a point for Midland, as O'Neal rather attempted the kill for the Chargers. She just had a little bit too much mustard on that one and sent it out of bounds. Serving for Midland now is Rebecca Walter. Jump serve, received there by Dow. Going up for the kill there. Long volley now, as Atten will attempt the kill and she knocks it down for the Chargers. Sherman went for the block, but uh, unable to control it. And uh, Atten with a kill for Dow High, evens things up at three. Amanda Olenzik on now for the Chargers to serve as we are tied up at three here in the early going. A little bit of miscommunication that time for the Chemics and Dow is gonna take the point as it appeared, Midland was unsure of who was going to receive that set. Dow high on top, four to three. Olenzik still in to serve for the Chargers. She does so, where it's received by Midland. Going up for the kill is Sherman. The ball is bounced around a bit, but Midland will receive the point as Dow is unable to control the spike by Sherman. In volleyball, a lot of times, uh Momentum is a big part of the action. You can see teams get on a roll uh, here in the early going. It's just kind of been uh, back and forth. Neither team taking firm command here as of yet. And then we'll control it. Going up for the spike that time. Now, now Dow has it as McCaffrey comes in with the strong kill and she gives the Chargers the point. Good job on McCaffrey. She's a junior, 5'11 junior, number eight for the Chargers. She showed some great athleticism there with the jump and the spike for Dow. Query checks in for Dow and Atten will serve for the Chargers. Now a strong spike that time from Sherman, but it is just out of bounds uh, past the back line, and Dow will take the point as they lead 6-4 now. Working with Coach Zero this week, and he's concerned about that front line of Dow. And so far they're doing a great job at the front of that net. Midland able to return at and serve. Now Dow with the ball. The set goes to McCaffrey. It's spike, but it's dug up nicely that time. And now Midland will try to rally it back, but unable to do so. And Dow will again take the point. I thought Midland was going to be able to be able to control that ball and send it back, but just unable to at the end there. Atten still serving for Dow. Now Jensen comes in with a spike for Midland. It's controlled by Dow. Jude will set it over to the Chemex. Now Sherman with a spike attempt for Midland, and she buries it. That's no doubt on that one. It was Mariah Sherman. Previously, nice dig by Olenczyk for the Chargers to keep that alive, but uh, uh, Sherman puts it away for Midland High. She showed why she's the go-to player for the Chemex on that one. Absolutely. Jensen to serve for the Chemex. It's controlled by Dow. Now a spike attempt that time from Zoller, and that is in, just able to Buried in the back line that time for the point for the Chargers. Nice kill that time by Morgan Zoller. Corey Jude will serve for the Chargers as they lead 8-5 here in the early going in the first game. Set to Sherman and her spike attempt is blocked by Dow. And now Dow controls it and will send it over in the corner. Nice diving play that time by Jansen for Midland and Midland will send it back to Dow. Now the set. Query goes up for the spike and she sends it down the line. A big point for Dow. I'd be impressed with that front line of the Chargers. It seems like uh, you expect um, 
it to be Atten, but it's, there's a variety of players that are in the way for the Chargers, making it tough for Midland. And the Chargers bench went nuts after that one, as is the case with many points. Now Dow with the ball here, this set. And now the spike that time, but Midland able to send it back, a nice shot that time. And now here comes Query for the Chargers. She's able to tip it down for a point for Dow. Sophomore Rebecca Walter with a brilliant uh, dig for Midland to keep it alive. But the Chargers, uh, sometimes when that happens, the defense is out of position and the Chargers put it away. 10-5 Dow. Jude still serving for the green. Midland re receives it. Now a back line spike from Jansen and she sends it down. A big point for Midland that time as I felt it was starting, Dow was starting to get on a run there, and that's a huge point for the Chemics. Yep, great point, Jake. The, uh, gotta stem the tide there and not let things uh, get out of hand. Serving for the Chemics will be Emily Zero. Nice serve that time, but a dig by the Chargers, and they'll send it back to the Chemics. Now the set and the tip ball, controlled by Dow now. And now Jude will just set it over to the Chemics who will send it right back, and now a tip again by Jude. Midland High controls it. And now a tip that time by Rebecca Walter, and the Chemics get the point. Heads up play by the sophomore. She saw that hole in the Dow defense right in the middle and uh, just tipped it right in, and uh, Midland gets the point. The tip game of Midland High is something that Chargers coach Kristen Eddy stressed as we talked to her earlier in the week. Zero still serving for the Chemics. It's controlled by Dow. And now a kill by Morgan Zoller, and she gives the Chargers the ball and the point right back. And we talked about momentum. It felt like some momentum was building for the Chemics as they had a few points there in a row, but now Dow is able to get the ball in back. Zoller serves for the Chargers. Spike by Walter. Now Dow's with it. Controlled by Midland High. Walter's spike attempt is blocked, but then hit out of bounds by Midland. A nice block that time by the Chargers, and they'll take the point. Cook and Query were all over that block, and uh, a great defensive play by the Chargers. Morgan Zoller will be serving for the Chargers. It's dug there by Zero for the Chemex, and now Walter with the kill. She sends it down in front of Morgan Zala that time. Rebecca Walter with a forceful kill for the Chemics. 12-9 Dow. Midland High will be serving as Erica Reeder is on for the Chemics. A left-handed serve received by Dow. And now a kill for Midland as Emily Resmer sends it right down the line and the Chemics pick up the point. They're both teams uh, seem to be well balanced and getting a lot of uh, players contributing to, uh, to the match so far. Served by Redder. Now Query with the kill attempt. It's dug up by Midland High and Jensen will send it over. And now a quick set that time by Kylie Jude, and she catch, catches the Chemex off guard for the point for the Chargers. Jude, the Dow High setter, she's just a junior, but a very heads up play there. And it puts Dow on top by four. Talt on the serve for the Chargers, and unfortunately for Dow, she sends it into the net. Midland High will get the point. On to serve now for Midland High will be Michelle Plaver. Checks in for Mason Money, both players juniors. Ace for Plaver. It appears she knew what she was doing when she came in to serve. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right on cue. Plaver again to serve, controlled there by Dow. And now Talt will send it over the net for the Chargers, and she does so in time, point for Dow. Although she looked a bit unsure of herself that time, as another player for Dow was also going for the spike, but it uh, worked out in Dow's favor that time. 
Both teams uh, finding the hole in the middle of the defense successfully so far. Jude to serve for the Chargers. Set, now Jansen with the kill. Picked up there by Dow. And now McCaffrey will send it over the net for the Chargers. It's controlled there by Midland and we'll have a double hit by Midland High giving the point to the Chargers. A nice kill that time by Jensen for the Chemex. Made no mistake on that one either. Found a hole between the blockers and uh, put it away. That's what you call with authority. Absolutely. Walter on the serve for the Chemex. A right-handed serves it. Received there by Dow. And now Atten with the big kill for the Chargers. And she just gets it inside the line. Big point for Dow as they take the lead 16 to 12. A reminder, the games are played to 25 in a best of three, best three out of five format. So best of five, best three out of five, however you want to say it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Sherman with the kill attempt is dug up there by Dow. And now they'll send it over the net. A nice strategic tip that time by Morgan Zoller. And again, the Chargers take the point. She had me fooled. I thought she was going for the spike. And the uh, official was saying timeout Midland, the coach said, hey, I didn't call timeout. And so the players will head back on the court. The official apparently thought uh, Coach Zarrell had uh, asked for time, each team getting two timeouts per set. The old fake timeout that time. <laughs> Dow still serving. Sherman with the kill for the Chemex, and she gives the Chemex a much needed point. However, yeah. Coach Kristen Eddy may have pointed out that Sherman hit the net, and it appears the ref, refs are going to agree with her, giving the point to Dow. Now Midland will call timeout. I do think that was the right call. You can see the, the net get jarred when she hit the ball. Coach Zero not happy with that, nor is he happy with the... Uh, uh, score right now 18 to 12 in uh, Dow's favor and uh, yeah Dow High you can tell is uh, the front line of theirs is is impressive and definitely causing some problems for the Chemics. That's right Dow also has done a tremendous job of spreading the ball around um, you know there's not one dominant player that you have to look out for for the Chargers. Coach Eddie as you mentioned we talked to her earlier this week uh, she said we that she felt the team needed to have a balanced attack and be aggressive serving and, and communicate well. And so far, they've been able to do that, I'd say. And uh, she also mentioned uh, that uh, they would uh, need to have good court vision and attack the seams, as we talked about, is finding those empty spots, and whether it's in the middle or down the lines, and uh, have been successful at that so far. The Charger student section sensing the pivotal point of this game as they feel that they can take a commanding grasp on this game as they're cheering on their chargers. We're back underway. A diving dig attempt that time for Dow, and now McCaffrey will try to kill it, but Midland High is gonna control it. And Reeder will send it over the net for the Chemex. Now Dow with the Atten lines up for the kill and she gets it. Atten the six foot junior as uh has made her presence felt here for sure. As you mentioned, she leads Dow High and kills coming into the match with 278. 19-12 lead for the Chargers as they serve it to Midland. Now Jensen will send it back to Dow. Set there, another quick set that time by Jude, and that's twice that she's caught the Chemex off guard with that quick set that has both led to points for the Chargers. They lead 20 to 12 now as Olenzak serves for, the, for Dow. Sherman with a big kill, sends it in the back of the line and a much needed point for the Chemex. Good set by Sherman. And uh, number four there in the middle, or excuse me, Reeder, and uh, number five, the middle high setter, and uh, middle able to put it away. On to serve is Emily Resmer. It's received there by Dow. McCaffrey winds up for the spike, but she sends it out of bounds. And Midland will take the much needed point. 
That makes the score 20 to 14. Resmer still on to serve for Midland High. And she sends an ace to the back row. As unable to control at that time was Morgan Zoller. Great, then, great serve by Resmer there. 46 aces coming into the match tonight. Resmer on the serve for Midland High with the left handed serve, sends it over to Dow. Set there by Jude. And now Atten again with the kill. And now we're starting to sense the how Dow really wants to get the ball to Helena Atten. Another kill for her. Now she's on to serve for Dow. They lead 21 to 15. Midland High with it now. Jensen will attempt the spike, and it's picked up that time by Jude. And now a nice save that time by Zoller for the Chargers, who's able to keep it alive. Now Midland High sends it back, and they're going to get the point off the kill. But I believe it was Jensen. I didn't quite see it that time. Nonetheless, a point for Midland High, who has cut the lead to a five-point deficit. One. Mason Money checks into the front row, number 17, replacing Claver for Midland. McCaffrey with the spike attempt is blocked right back at her, and Midland High gets the point. Sure. Great. Sherman and Money, excellent job on the block. They read what the, where the attack was going to come from and uh, sent it right back. McCaffrey had no choice but to nearly catch that ball as it was on her before she could react. Now Query with the kill for the Chargers. And they become three points closer, closer to the magic number 25 to clinch this first set. Great job by Query there. It's on that quick set in the middle and uh, she found the opening. Paholke on, on to serve for Dow. Now a quick set that time, successfully pulled off by Erica Reeder, and she gives Jude a bit of a taste of her own medicine that time and gets the point for the Chemex. Both setters effectively becoming involved in this game. Emily Zero now serving for Midland. Query tips it on to Midland side where it's controlled there by Midland. Resmer will simply send it over where Dow takes it over. Jude sets it over. Now a diving dig that time by Zoller, and Dow is able to send it back to Midland. There's the set. Walter tries to punch it over, but she is going to be called with the lift, and Dow will take the point. The crowd not liking that call. <laughs> no, they're not. The key call, too. Dow on top, 23-18. This is uh, in rally scoring where every... Uh, everything is a point. That's it's a big lead when you're going up to 25 at 23-18. Very little margin of error for the team behind in order to catch up here. See Coach Eddie talking over with her team to uh, to stay the course and and really keep doing what they're doing. Just play solid and uh, Jude doing a great job setting all those attackers that Dow uh, has on their team. Certainly Dow's been able to execute their game plan so far in the first game, but uh, that is the beauty of volleyball. You've got to win more than just one set. And this set nowhere near over. Oh, no. Oh, no. The middle and high student section is uh, exhorting on their team, getting fired up. Yeah, that's one thing I've been impressed with, although being a Midland Dow game, you come to expect it, but the energy in the building is certainly electric oh, yeah. from the very start. Absolutely. On to serve for Dow is number five, Morgan Zauer. Sends it to the corner, a little too far to the corner as it is out, and a big point for Midland. Missed opportunity for the Chargers there. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, service errors can be killers for sure. It's like a three point for the other team. Serving is Reader for da or for Midland rather. And some miscommunication that time by the Chargers. And that's not what you like to see when you're trying to close out a set. And Midland inches within three points now, 23 to 20.
Dow with the ball. Query it gets caught up in the net. And Midland again will get the point. And now the margin is just two. Reader still serving for the Kemets. Game is tightening here for both teams. Jude sends it over, but Midland's ready for it. They'll send it back. Set now by Jude. On to Maddie Cooch, who gets the big point for the Chargers. Great job by Cook there, the junior. Now we're at set point for Dow with Talt serving. Talt sends it over, received by Midland. The tip ball is going to be juggled around, and Dow will come away with the first set as they get that point. 25 to 20, your 25 to 21, rather, your final in this first set. Dow inches closer to the ultimate goal as they take the first set. And we will be back after this important announcement. Want to get in the game? Join MCTV as an excess TV producer and produce programs like baseball, basketball, football, and, and more. more. Call MCTV at 837-3474 to get started. Get in the game and let's produce a program. Hi, Gymnasium, ladies and gentlemen, Jake Reitma here joined by Dave Marsh. We'd like to take this time to remind you that you're watching this Midland High, Dow High volleyball game match on MPS TV 98 on Charter Communications or through channel 99 on AT&T UVerse. It will be cablecast on the following dates and times, Wednesday, October 30th at 3 p.m., Thursday and Friday, October 31st and November 1st at 7 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, November 2nd and 3rd at 1 p.m. For more dates, times, check out the Sunday Midland Daily News or the MPS TV schedule on the Midland Public Schools website. The coverage of this game is being made possible in part with a donation from the Production Directors of America. Wow, the Production pro Directors of America are supporting this broadcast? Wow, that's impressive. That's when you know you've arrived. <laughs> that's right. In uh, action earlier tonight here at uh, Midland High, the uh, Chemex won both the freshman and the junior varsity matches. Uh, Midland winning the freshman match 2-0 and then also taking the JV match by a similar 2-0 score. Midland uh, JV is led defensively by Alexi Knuckle and Hannah Welter. Also had uh, outstanding play from Mackenzie Rajeski and Kaylee Souls. Uh, Dow, meanwhile, uh, Alyssa Sperling and Ariana Hempfling uh, uh, played outstanding matches for the Chargers in that in that JV matchup. We are seconds away from resuming the match here as Dow took the first set, 25 to 21. Midland made a late comeback though as Dow seemingly controlled the majority of that game and route to the victory. Yeah, one thing Midland this year has had to contend with is they've been riddled with injuries. Uh, Mallory Rajeski was a four-year starting setter for Midland in, uh, in their first tournament, suffered a knee injury. She's an all-state player and, uh, and so unable to play for the rest of the season. That was really a big loss for the Chemex, no question about it. And then they've uh, recently lost uh, Becca Singer and Kaylee Warner, who are uh, out of action tonight. Warner broke her ankle, and Rebecca Singer is suffering a concussion. So uh, Midland having their share of injuries this year. We are back underway as Jude serves for the Chargers. Midland sends it over. Now the set by Jude. Over to Erica O'Neill, who gets the kill, but she made contact with the net, clearly. Yep. And the point will be handed over to Midland after that mistake by O'Neill. one nothing Chemex. 
Serve by Walter. Dow controls it and sends it over. Now Sherman with the big spike, but she sends it out of bounds. And Dow ties it up here in the early going, one to one. Checking in for Dow to serve will be number one, Amanda Owensick. Owensick serves it with the right hand to Midland. Resmer tries to spike it, unable to do so. A great dig that time by Dow, and they'll be able to send it back to Midland. Now a tip that time by Jensen, blocked by Dow, but Midland controls it. Sent out back over to Dow. O'Neill will send it back to Midland, who controls it there. Sherman with the set. Jensen sends it over. Now. Helena Atten for Dow sends it back, and this has been a long volley. Finally comes to an end on a block by Atten and Erica O'Neill. Yeah, Dow High, two of their four six-footers, Kook, uh, O'Neill, Atten, and Alyssa Stone, number 15, all uh, six feet and better, providing a very tough front line. Olenzik still serves for Dow, and now Midland's gonna come away with the point. As it looked to be Jensen, I believe, on yeah, the kill. Jensen with the kill there. And earlier I said Erica O'Neill is Aaron O'Neill. I apologize. And we'll hopefully not make that mistake <laughs> again. Resmer serves for the Chemex. Jude with the set. O'Neill with the kill, but it was tipped. And Dow will take the point as although it went out of bounds and appeared like Midland would take that point, there was a, a tip on the front line of Midland giving the point to Dow. Atten to serve for the Chargers. Sends it into the corner where it's dug by Midland. Now Sherman with the tip, controlled by Dow, and they will send it over. Query gets the point for the Chargers. Can you call her for a double hit yes. there? And so Midland will, will take the point. It's a good thing they have, those refs have a better vantage point than us. <laughs> That's right. Jensen to serve for Midland High. A forceful serve is dug up there by Dow, and now a big time spike back the other way is also dug by Midland. Midland controls it, sends it over. Now Jude with the spike, or set rather. Controlled by Midland, and now Sherman will get the tip, but Dow is able to miraculously yeah. dig it up and the ball is still up for grabs. Long volley here as Midland will send it back to Dow. Set there by Olenzek. And now a big time spike that time by Dow, but Midland High controls it on the third shot. It gets it over. Dow sends it right back to Midland. And the ball is still being hit around. Now finally, Dow comes away with the point. A long volley that time, and the Chargers are able to get the point. O'Neill and Jenna Query on the block that time for Dow. So they're sending uh, uh, all different people up there to, to, to block. Jude serves for the Chargers. Now Money will try to spike it for Midland, and she sends it way out of bounds. Point for Dow. Also been very impressed with the play of Dow High's libero, Kaylee Talt, number three, wearing the gold jersey. Doing a great job defensively. Dow serves. Sherman with the, with the spike goes into the net. Point for the Chargers. And they have an early six to three lead. Corey Jude will continue to serve for Dow in their road green uniforms, Midland High in the home yellow. And Jude got a little bit too much mustard on that serve and sends it out of bounds. A service error in point for the Chemex. Zero on to serve for Midland High. It's a 6-4 ball game here in the second set. Dow won the first one. Dow controls it. And now a spike that time by Maddie Cook, and Dow will come away with the point. Alyssa Stone appears to be checking in for the Chargers, as well as Morgan Zoller. Zoller to serve for Dow. Go, 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 go. 
Walter with the spike for Dow. And they are gonna give the point to Midland High. And Dow into the, in the net on that block. So the kill goes to Walter. Boy, Rebecca Walter certainly plays this game with a lot of passion. You love yep. to see that, Absolutely. as do many of these players here tonight. No shortage of enthusiasm. And another whistle, this time the point is going to go to Dow, as it appeared Midland was in the net that time. Yep, as they disciplined at the net, it's Coach Zero was, uh, just one thing you want to seem to focus on, it, limiting errors and stop the runs through the match. And uh, you're gonna have to clean that up a bit. Talt serving for Dow, and Midland's gonna come away with the point to cut the lead to just two, it's eight to six. Emily Resmer with the kill for Midland there. She comes into the match with 85 kills on the season. All around a great, a great player. She does it all for the Cubs. Absolutely. Serving for Midland High is Michelle Plaver. Stone with the spike for Dow is dug up by Midland High. Now Jensen will, her spike is blocked, but she recovers nicely, and Midland was able to control it and send it to Dow. Now Jude with the spike for Atten, or set rather, and Atten buries it. Yeah, we keep saying that, but uh, the impressive thing about Dow is that they keep running in all these six footers, and they're just a wall there at the net. Certainly flexing their athleticism up front. Jude to serve for the Chargers. Now Jensen with the spike for Midland High. It's bumped there by Jude. Zoller sends it over for Dow. And now Ramser will get the kill for Midland High. Resmer with that left-handed uh, attack. Gets the point for Chemix. 9-7. Rebecca Walter to serve for Midland High. Impressed with Walter, just a sophomore, but very well-rounded player. Front row and back row. Stone with the spike goes all the way across the court. Midland unable to defend that impressive spike that time by Alyssa Stone. It's now 10-7 Chargers. It was a great read by Stone. The block was up there, but you can see just along the net, uh, there was a void in the Chemic defense, and she found the spot and put it away. Almost like she adjusted on the run there. Yep. Impressive play. Dow serves. Now Sherman with the big spike, but it's blocked up front by Dow High. And again, as you mentioned, Dow flexing their size and athleticism up front so far early in this match. Cook and Atten that time on the block. Olenzik serves for Dow. Serve blocked by Dow, and no choice but to make her best attempt was Resmer for Midland High. And that proved not to be successful, and Dow will take the point as we have a timeout. 12-7, the Chargers on top in the second set. Yeah, yeah, Dow doing a great job mixing up the blocking and uh, uh, playing extremely well defensively. The, uh, so Coach Gerald really wanted to uh, is it recognize that they spread the ball well across the net and the defense has to be ready for that. It's, it's one thing to be ready, it just, uh, it's a tough thing to defend. Dave, we talked about this in the pregame, but it's worth mentioning again, this game, so important as far as the Saginaw Valley League standings are concerned, the winner of this game guarantees itself at least a share of the SVL title. And as you mentioned, I like the way you put it, we'll raise a banner. Absolutely. And uh, you can see uh, in the gym here, there's uh, uh, many banners up, uh, including volleyball with uh, several championships in 2010, 11, and 12 for Midland High. Dow High, as you, uh, you've been to their gym too, and there's uh, banners galore throughout their gym. They're gonna try to put, Dow's trying to put 2013 up on their volleyball banner. Tradition, a top priority for both of these programs, and it shows as they are consistently on top of the SVL. Olenzik to serve for the Chargers. It's, 12, it's a 12-7 lead for Dow. A big time spike that time for Dow by Maddie Cook. 
And Midland got a hand on it, but to no avail as the, the ball careened out of bounds. Point for the Chargers. Cook the junior, 181 kills coming in, 34% hitting percentage on the year and 33 blocks. Olenzek still serving for Dow. Sherman with the kill attempt, it's controlled by Dow, and sent over with the quick set quickly, and the Chemex played on as if they dug that up, but the referee says the ball hit the floor. Point for the Chargers. I believe that was O'Neill with the quick set that caught the Chemex off guard. 14-7 Dow right here. A this chance. is one of those runs they've been on. Jensen tries to kill for the Chemex, but is blocked by Dow, but Midland still controls it. A diving set that time by Talt for the Chargers, and now Midland High with the ball. Sent over there. Atten will set. And a big time kill that time for Maddie Cook, who finds herself contributing here in the second game. Doing a nice job for the Chargers. Oh yeah, Cook playing, doing a tremendous job here in, in game two. Now on top, one game to, to none if you just joined us. And on top of game two, 15-7. Midland needing a point desperately here. Jensen will set it, but it's controlled by Dow. And Olenzik will just send it back over to Midland. Set there. And a tip by Resmer. It's controlled by the Chargers. And another spike for Coop. And it's worth noting, she did not have a huge impact on the first game, but she is becoming the Chargers workhorse here in the second. Another kill for Coop. Olenzak still serving for Dow. They lead 16 to seven. Another big block for the Chargers. And they'll have a chance here as Atten goes for the spike. It's dug up there by Midland High. Now a quick tip over by Resmer. And Cooch finally is blocked this time by Midland, but it's still Dow's ball. And Cooch will wow. send it over again. Great play by Cook. Ball was way out of bounds. She had to worry about the, the antenna. They hit, found the angle, found the spot. Another big play by Cook. And Coach Zero calls timeout for Midland. Dow on top, 17-7. Dow taking a commanding lead as it was close early on, but Dow has been on a huge run here in the middle part of this game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Midland is having difficulty getting the ball over the net, frankly, on their attacks, as there's always two, two chargers uh, right there, and they're doing a very, very solid job blocking. The emergence of Maddie Cook is definitely worth noting here as she has had a huge impact on this second game. Absolutely. It's going to also mention Corey Judy, Kylie Judy, sisters, uh, daughters of Dow High legend Rich Judy, who's a tremendous athlete, uh, baseball, football player, went on uh, to lead the Big Ten in batting for Michigan State during his career and uh, played professionally for, for quite a while. And so uh, good bloodlines there for Dow and the Jude family. Absolutely, although I'm sure they hear that quite often. <laughs> Probably. Back into action as Atten will go for the spike for the Chargers and they will get the point. The timeout didn't work, it's 18 to seven Dow. Boy, it feels like Olenzik's been serving this whole game. <laughs> it does. Still serving for the Chargers. And Midland High gets a much needed point as Resmer sends it through the net, or over the net rather, and Dow sends it into the net. Yep, good job by Resmer. She's uh, come through with some big plays for Midland here in this match. Samantha Rapanis on the serve for the Chargers. Chemix. Chemex, rather, <laughs> yes, thank you. That's a mistake you don't want to make. Absolutely. <laughs> Is that Kook again? It appeared so. Let's see if I get this one right. Point for the Chargers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dow is the green team. <laughs> that's right. That's Although right. Midland's yellow could be mistaken for <laughs> a Charger yellow. Sherman with the spike provides some offensive production for the Chemex. 
And they cut the lead to 19 to nine. Dow still very much in control though. But we saw Dow go on a run, so what's to say Midland High can't? Absolutely, they have uh, one of their top players, junior Taylor Jensen, serving. A high toss on that serve, and that oh. was quite the ace that time by Taylor Jensen. A rocket. Jensen is tied with Reeder with 81 aces coming in. It can add that one to her total. That looked like the fastball on the outside corner. Dow had no choice that time. Ace. Again with the hard serve, but Dow's able to control it this time, and Query will go up for the kill for the Chargers. Great way to respond that time by Dow, and they lead 20 to 10. Corey Judy checking, Jude, excuse me, checking in for O'Neal. She'll be serving. Rapanos with the dig. Now the set for Sherman. A diving dig attempt by Talt, great effort, but unfortunately for her, the ball bounces out of bounds, and it is a point for Midland High, cutting the lead to nine. It's 20 to 11. We are, if you're just joining us, in game two, best of five, Dow won the first game. Jude with the set. Cook with the hard spike, but it's controlled by Midland, sent back to Dow. Now Jude with the quick spike, Midland will control it. They send it back over, now Jude with the set. And a big spike that time, but who else? Maddie Coop. Wow, she is impressive here in game two. Big point for the Chargers as they inch closer to the magic number of 25. 21 to 11. We're at Midland High. This game will determine one, if not the champion of the Saginaw Valley League. Both teams resting atop the standings at five and one. Also, Bay City Western 5-1, so if they win, it'll be a shared title. This one's sent out of bounds by Midland High, point for the Dow Chargers. It's now 22-11. to Kook on the bench, now uh, with a much needed rest. Her, her arm may be tired after <laughs> all the kills she's produced in game two. Zoller serves for the Chargers. Talt with the bump. Now Stone will get the kill as she sends it, sends it to the vacant area on the court. Nice placement that time by Alyssa Stone. It's that left side, that's where Kook was uh, doing all her damage. Out she goes, in comes Alyssa Stone to continue that trend on the left side. Picked up right where she left off. A big spike that time by Walter that's blocked by the Chargers. Kept alive, now Talt will set it to Stone who will just send it over to the other side but right spot right placement and another point for Dow kill by Stone set point Jake here Dow 24-11 they can take a commanding two games to zero lead and in all likelihood will it's just a matter of when Walter with the spike and she gets the point for Midland High to Midland High's credit no shortage of enthusiasm Absol despite being down 24 to 12. Absolutely, this is not a Chemic team that will go down without a fight here, that's for sure. They didn't rate, put all those years on the, the banner by rolling over. Another point for Midland High as Dow is unable to control the serve. Morgan Zoller had some trouble with that, but due to the effective serve by Erica Reeder. Reeder again to serve. Controlled by Jude, now set to query. A nice dig that time by Midland High. Now Dow with the ball. Stone will send it back to Midland side. Set there. Money goes up for the hit for Midland High. Dow sends it around, and Talt will send it back to Midland High. Set there. Now a big time spike that time by Emily Resmer, who gets the point for the Chemex. And that's four in a row for Midland High. I believe they're their biggest run of the game with yep. their backs against the wall. Yep, number 17, Mason Money with a great dig earlier in that rally to keep things alive for Midland. Jude to set to Stone. Big time spike, it's controlled there by Zero. Now another point for Midland High as Taylor Jensen sends it over for the Chemex. Nice placement that time by Jensen. Reader on the serve, we mentioned she, a uh, great server, leads the team with points on serve this year. 
Definitely who you want when facing this type of deficit. And finally, the Chargers are able to get the final point they needed and can take this, take this one 25 to 15, a commanding two games to zero lead for Dow as they will look to capture one more game to defeat the Chemex in this best of five match. In between games, we'd like to remind you that the coverage of this game is being produced by MCTV staff and volunteer access users. You are invited to take the training at MCTV so you can work on shows like this one. The next studio class is set for Monday, November 4th at 6.30 p.m. or Saturday, November 9th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. The cost is $45, which includes the annual access user fee. For more information, call 837-3474. Again, if you would like to be a part of the MCTV staff, call 837-3474. Well, Dave, with the Chargers on top, two games to none, they've executed seemingly a flawless game plan here in the first two games. Well, we have mentioned uh, several times that the front row is just formidable. They're doing a great job, uh, have great positioning, and very consistent. It makes it difficult for Midland to find the seams and, uh, and attack effectively. And you never want to jump to any type of conclusions, especially in a game like volleyball that, as we've mentioned, has so many swings of momentums and so many, it's such a game of runs. But uh, to this point, you've got to credit Coach Eddie and the Chargers for executing effectively throughout both the first two games. Oh, absolutely. And uh, Coach Zero looking to make some adjustments here. Like you said, volleyball is a, is a game. There's no clock, and so you... You know, if Midland can get a run together, maybe get Dow on their heels and pull off game three, then it's uh, it's wide open again. So uh, this one's far from over uh, for uh, for the Chemex, that's for sure. Um, briefly mentioned uh, earlier in the broadcast, uh, Coach Zero is in his 11th season at Midland High and earlier this year. Congratulations to him with his 500th career win as a high school coach. Uh, very impressive. Definitely a very impressive accomplishment for the Midland High coach. And he had, he had mentioned uh, one thing that was, was special about this team is uh, he'd been coaching a lot, this group of seniors, which includes his daughter, uh, Emily, uh, for, for many years back uh, when they started as an AAU club team and kind of worked their way through AAU into the high school level. And so he's been coaching this core group of seniors for for many years, and so it's a, a special group for for coach uh, to coach this year. That's a great thing about high school sports. So many, so much more than the competition that takes place on the floor. The memories, the relationships built. It's definitely evident in these two teams. You see it between every point. These two teams celebrate with each other. Oh, yeah. The team chemistry is just an all-time high for both the Chargers and the Chemex. Now, if you're Dow and Coach Eddie. In the huddle, do you simply say, keep doing what you're doing? I would. Why not? <laughs> if it's not pretty well. If it's not broken, don't <laughs> fix it. Yeah, Dow winning first game 25-21 and prevailing in uh, second 25-15. And uh, I'm sure they're going to, I don't think they'll change much. Midland did, however, get four of the final five points. So let's see if they're able to build on that momentum that they struck up at the end of the last game. Stone with the spike for Dow. Midland gets it back. Coming back with the tip is Jensen, and Midland gets the first point of the game. Good start for the Chemex. One to nothing, Midland High. Michelle Plaver serving for the Chemex with their backs against the wall as Dow leads two to nothing. Atten with the spike where it's dug up there by Zero. And now the spike attempt is blocked by Dow, but sent over to Midland. Jensen with the big time spike is blocked by Dow. And now Midland sets it over to Dow. And Stone will come on with the spike. Her spike attempt is blocked. Jensen sends it over to the Chargers where it's dug up by Jude. Stone will send it over to Midland side for Dow. Back comes 
Resmer for the Chemex. And they take the early 2-0 lead. As it appears, Jude was shaken up on that play. Throughout the long volley, her and Kaylee Talt appeared to collide. And Corey Jude is going to limp off the field. Hopefully, nothing serious. No, just trying to get a, get a break right here and, and regroup for Jude. Talt bumps it. Atten to send it over for Dow. Received there by Zero. The set, and now the spike by Jensen hits the net. Dow somehow able to control it, but not effectively as it appears a lift will be called on Dow. 3 0 Midland High. Claver still, still serving for the Midland Chemex. A diving dig that time by Tall to no avail, though, as Claver had the ace for Midland High. They lead 4 0 in the early going. Claver doing a nice job of getting the Chemex off to an effective start. Jude with the set, now Atten with the spike. Blocked by Midland as Dow's ball, now they send it back to Midland. Atten will set it, or rather Jude sets it for Atten and Dow is finally on the board. Yeah, and uh, Midland with that uh, little run to start things off, so you go to your number one when you need that point, and Jude found Atten, who put it away. Dow on the board, 4-1. Aaron O'Neill in for the Chargers. We have not seen Maddie Coop yet in this third game. Interesting with how effective she was in the second. Reader sets it over to the Chargers. Now Stone on for Dow, sends it to Midland and some miscommunication caused, costing the Chemex that time, point for the Chargers. Jude, as you mentioned, the, the setter. She's second on the team with 55 aces on the season. Reader sets to Walter, spikes but out of bounds. Just a bit too strong that time by Rebecca Walter. And Dow with the last three points, claws within one. And Jude sends this one out of bounds, giving Midland High the point. We haven't seen many service errors throughout the first three games, but as you mentioned, they are costly. Walters to serve for Midland High. Nice Atten, serve. Atten with the set, Talt spikes it over to Midland High. And this time, Resmer's spike will be blocked by Dow, and the front line of Dow getting the point for the Chargers. Lena Atten, there again. Zero checks back in for the Midland Chemex. Six footers to for Dow, all juniors except O'Neill, the lone senior. This one out of bounds, point for Midland. As instead, Olenzik was serving. The last time she was serving is when Dow went on that huge run in the second game, but this time, no such luck. Talt bumps the, the serve, and now Olenzik will send it back from the back row. Reader with the set to Sherman, and her spike finds a hole, as it appeared to initially be blocked by Dow, but not effectively enough, as it found the court on the side of the Chargers, leading to the point for Midland. Resmer to serve for Midland High, now Atten comes through with a big kill, and the the Chargers needed that one. Yeah, that middle set, and uh, it seems to be their uh, their money play when they when they want to make a statement and get a sure thing. They do that middle set to Atten, and uh, she's very consistent putting that away. Atten serves for Dow. Jensen on the spike attempt sends it into the net. Point for the Chargers, as her timing appeared to be off that time. And Dow is going to come away with the point. Atten will remain serving for Dow. Zero receives the serve. And the set goes to Sherman. 
Strong spike, Dow is gonna control it. But some miscommunication there as it appeared like they were gonna have the opportunity to salvage the rally there, but two players attempted to hit it at the same time. Kylie Judy doing a great job hustling to keep that ball alive for Dow. Jensen serves for the Chemex. She's got the fastball serve, but coming back is query for the Chargers and they get the point. Nice setup that time by Dow. We mentioned those six footers for Dow, but oh yeah, Jenna Query, 5'10". Very athletic player. And uh, she's all over the court for Dow. Jude serves for the Chargers. Money with the spike for Midland is received by Dow. Back into the game is Cook, and she makes her presence known with the kill point for Dow. That didn't take long. It did not. <laughs> Picking up right where she left off in the second game as she was the Chargers' go-to player. And now Jensen with a big time spike from the back line. Impressive display of athleticism and the point goes to Midland High. Yeah, you can really see why uh, Jensen is their top attacker. She, uh, she attacks that ball violently. Talt will send it from the back line from the Chargers, but way out. And Midland's gotten the last two points to pull away with a two point lead, 10 to eight. You mentioned the injuries that Midland's been suffering through this year. I think that speaks to their depth as a program though, as they're still able to be five and one this year and in position for an opportunity for a Saginaw Valley League title. That's a great point, Jake. Well coached, uh, a lot of just solid volleyball players in this program. That's why uh, they've been successful over the years. That point goes to Midland High. They lead 11 to eight and a big time service error that will give the Chargers the point and the ball. It's now 11 to nine. In fact, Midland's only loss in the the league so far this year was the Bay City Western earlier, and that was the, the first league loss since October of 2009. So, and a little dynasty right there for a few years for the Chemics. Zoller serves for Dow. Query able to hang up in the air and put just enough mustard on that spike to get the point as the timing appeared to be off, but a nice adjustment by Query and ultimately she gets the goal of getting the point. It's now 11 to 10. Zoller still serving for Dow. Great hustle there by Midland High. Walter will send it over for Midland. It's controlled by Dow. Stone sends it back to Midland's side. And now Midland able to salvage the rally. But Query comes in with a big time kill for the Chargers. And Midland was doing everything they could to just get the ball over to the other side, whereas Dow was effectively executing their plays, and finally it proved to be too much for Midland on that round. Yeah, Query again, left no mistake. Very impressive player. Set by Reeder, now Dow with it. Jude will send it back over to Midland. And now Money winds up with the big spike, but it's controlled there by Dow. As Zala got a hand with it, a hand on it. Now Stone sends it over. And Midland's gonna send it right back to Dow. The ball is bounced around and kept alive by the Chargers. And now a big block by Stone, and Dow is gonna get the point. A big momentum point that time for the Chargers. As it appeared, Midland was sure to get that point, but somehow, some way. Dow was able to send it back to Midland's side and eventually get the point. Oh, great hustle. Never say die attitude by the Chargers and that uh, resulted in the point. Zala still serving for Dow. Walter winds up with that one. Now Talt for the Chargers will send it back from the back row. Walter again, her spike is blocked. Talt controls it for the Chargers. On to Jude, on to Stone. Her spike is tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Midland High. Point 
for the Chargers. Down now with the two point advantage, 13-11. They were down early in this game, trying to complete the three game sweep. A nice, nice effort that time by Erica Reeder to try to keep it alive, but unfortunately the wrong side of the court. Yep, yeah, couldn't get it uh, on this side of the antenna, went around, so Dow High now on one of those runs. Midland starting off this third game uh, extremely well, but uh, Dow has fought back, and uh, Coach Zarel calling timeout. And uh, mentioned both teams, five and one in the league coming in. The winner of this match will be Saginaw Valley League champ, possibly co-champ, but uh, for sure will be, uh, be league champion. Some of the Midland faithful, I think, starting to not, maybe not hit the panic button, but aware of the situation where Dow's making a run. They're start trying to salvage anything as they're starting to cheer a little louder here, and that's what you love to see from both sides, really. Yep, you can hear the Dow High uh, faithful pounding the bleachers with Let's Go Chargers. The uh, Kemic fans responding as well. A lot of Let's Go's. A lot of Let's Go's. It's all are still serving for the Chargers. Reader with the set. And now the spike by Jensen, point for the Chemex. Jensen, great job finding the gap in the Charger defense. And uh, timeout paid off. I love to see those back row spikes. For whatever reason, they just, they're maybe yeah. <laughs> because they're in the air longer, but they always look impressive. <laughs> they do. A little added touch of athleticism to pull that off. Jude with the set for Dow. Query, big time spike. Dug up that time by Midland High. And now Dow with the ball. The set. Stone with the tip, controlled nicely by Money. And a big kill for Emily Resmer. You've said that a lot tonight. She's come up with some big points for Midland High. Reader to serve for the Chemex. They trail by one, 14 to 13 here in the third game. If you're just joining us, Dow won the first two, the second one convincingly. Jensen with the back row spike is controlled by Talt. Now Stone with the kill down the line, a point for Dow. With authority by Alyssa Stone. If I were Dow, I would just continue to feed that the likes side. of Stone, <laughs> Atten, and Cook. That's an expert analysis there, Jake. <laughs> I'm just calling them how I see it. <laughs> that's right. Well, obviously, that's a yes, that is the great game plan because they uh, have the size and the ability, and uh, they're playing great matches for Dow. Another big serve by. Kaylee Talt for the Chargers, and they have pulled away to a 17-13 lead here in the third game. Kaylee Talt's done a tremendous job of serving all game. Oh yeah. Reader with the set, tipped by Walters, and a big point for Midland High. Good heads up play by Walter. Instead of uh, uncoiling with the, the hit, saw that little uh, opening and just tipped it over the net for the point Midland. The tip may not be as impressive to the eye, but they all count for a point. It's effective and it, and it helps your attack later on as well. You Absolutely. have to have that in the back of your mind. Atten with the spike for Dow, controlled by Midland. And a spike by Jensen just gets it inside that back line. Point for Midland High. 17-15. Remember at the end of game two, Reeder was on the service line when Midland made a bit of a run. Doing the same here. Stone with the spike for Dow. Set by Reeder. On to Ramser and another point for Midland High. Emily Resmer, once again down the line, finds her spot with that lefty kill.
Claver to serve for Midland High, and she serves it into the net. Point for the Chargers. Nice run, though. Got Midland back into this third set. Definitely anybody's set here. Jude to serve for Dow. Set by Reeder. Walter with the spike. She gets the point for Midland High, and the Chemics are fired up. I should say more fired up because both teams <laughs> That's right. are constantly fired up, which is a great thing about this rivalry. But uh, yep. a little bit of extra excitement on that <laughs> That's one. That's right. Walter to serve for Midland. Jude with the set. Atten with the kill, but it's blocked by Midland High. Dow able to salvage the rally and send it back to Midland. Redmer for Midland sends it back to Dow. Now Jude with the set to Midland. And Talt will control it for Dow. Stone comes across the net, but or tries to go across court, but it's into the net. Point for Midland High, and we are all knotted up at 18. He uh, picked up a point earlier in the match with that same attempt, this time uh, unable to convert it. If you're Dow, you still got to believe in it because it was open. And Midland will get this point to take the 19 to 18 lead. And it looks like Coach Eddie is going to take the timeout. Midland yep. High fired up as they have a lead late here. It's 19 to 18. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Coach Zero is liking what he's seeing here. As you mentioned, Midland uh, is that never say die approach. And uh, I'm sure uh, Coach Eddie is telling her, uh, her troops, hey guys, no problem. To settle down and go back to what we do best. That's right. Despite the noise <laughs> level of Midland High, it is still a one-point game that can change in an instant. Checking in for Dow will be Keely McCaffrey. She has not seen a whole lot of action today, but another effective frontline player for the Chargers. She'll take the place of Alyssa Stone. Walter serves for Midland High, received by Talt, set by Jude, spiked by Atten is returned by Midland High, and now Jensen gets to serve her own, a brilliant dig by Talt, and now it's anybody's point. Midland with the ball, sets it over, Talt runs it down for Dow. Jude with the set, McCaffrey tries to spike it, and Midland sends it out of bounds. Dow will get the mm, point. Great rally by both teams. Talt uh, keeping that ball alive. Brianna Talt, or excuse me, Kaylee Talt, the, the senior libero, is, uh, seems like she is all over that backcourt. Definitely saved the point with the tremendous diving dig. Dow serves. Now Sherman with the spike attempt for Midland. It's controlled by Dow. And a big time spike by Coop. And point goes to Midland High. Twenty to nineteen here. We are experiencing some technical difficulties here in the Midland High Gymnasium. Could be due to all the noise level. Could be. Now Cooch with the big spike, and it is going to find a hole. Point for the Chargers. We are all tied up at 20. Maddie Cook, once again, coming up with the big play. We'll see who can get five points here as both teams are tied at 20. Dow serves. Jensen, the spike is blocked by Dow. A very forceful spike by Taylor Jensen that time, but the Chargers were in perfect position and able to block it for the point. Aaron O'Neill and Jenna Query put up the wall. Elena Atten serves for the Chargers. Jensen again goes up for the spike. Diving dig by Jude to keep it alive. Now Midland with it. Reeder with the set. Jensen with the spike. Dow is able to dig it up. And now O'Neill will attempt the spike. It's blocked, but controlled there. A diving stop by Midland, but Remser hits it out of bounds, and the Chargers take the point. It's now 22 to 20. Tremendous effort on both sides of the net, 
by both teams, but Dow comes away with the point. And Midland will call timeout this time. A lot of great action. And uh, just uh, during this timeout, we'll also throw out there is uh, for volleyball fans tuning in, if you also want to see some great volleyball in town, make sure you check out the Northwood Timberwolves team. All-American Julia Pakamenko, who is a uh, unbelievable player. <laughs> We've seen a lot of her in the Bennett Center. So uh, volleyball fans, you want to check, check out some great college action, uh, head over to Northwood to check out the Timberwolves. No season. doubt about it. You and I have both had the opportunity to witness more than just Pakamenko, although she definitely is the focal point of that team, but uh, certainly a deep team that is just torn up the GLIAC in the last few years. Absolutely. 22 to 20, Dow on top. They lead two games to nothing in this best of five match. And again, Valley Championship implications on the line as both teams are five and one in the Saginaw Valley League. Helena Atten to serve for the Chargers. It's controlled there by Midland High. Sherman tries to spike it, but she is gonna be in, make contact with the net, giving Dow the point. They now lead 23 to 20. And Dow is in, again, in perfect position to defend that. Oh yeah, yep. Chargers just playing solid. Helena Atten serving for Dow. Reader with the set. Jensen gonna spike it, but it's blocked by O'Neill for, for Dow. Jude with a nice bump to keep it alive, and Atten is gonna be unable to come up with that one as it appeared she saw it at the last second. Miscommunication may have been the cause of that. Taylor Jensen serving for Midland now, down by two. He's to put a little run together. And a service error by Jensen gives Dow 20, the lead 24 to 21. It is now match point. Dow needing just one point to clinch the match in a three games to nothing sweep. Brianna Talt serving for Dow. She has not seen a lot of action here today. Sherman will send it over for Midland. Set a bump there by Talt, set by Jude, spike by Coop, and the Chargers come storming off the bench as they take this one three games to none. The final score of this game, 25 to 21, and Dow proved to be the better team tonight and will move to six and one in the Saginaw Valley League, while Midland falls to five and two. Tremendous effort and electricity in the building all game long. Great effort by both teams, but Dow seemed to execute when it mattered most. Yeah, absolutely, Jake, and just uh, too much size on that front line, I think is the story of this one, and uh, great job blocking, and then just uh, great job blocking, and then uh, hit their attacking was, was amazing, and, and why not, Maddie Cook with the big kill on match point. Yeah, she had a tremendous outing here in this, in this match. All around tremendous balanced attack all evening long from the Chargers. Proved to be too much for Midland High and they are, the Chargers are celebrating and rightfully so as Coach Eddie put together a tremendous game plan and the Chargers executed it flawlessly. Yeah, absolutely, and so as you see the fans exit the gym on the other side, the uh, all the Dow faithful pouring out of the court to, to congratulate their team on a, on a tremendous victory. And so we will be uh, wrapping things up here in yeah, the Midland High Gym. Once again, Dow High prevailing 25-21, 25-15, 25-21 to take the match. Uh, and uh, congratulations to them for, for their uh, championship victory here tonight. And so uh, we'll wrap it up here, Jake, and say goodnight, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Sounds like a plan. Thank you all for joining us. Have a wonderful evening. Dow 3, Midland High 0. Thank you for joining us.